Okay, well, when I ask this, I, about half the class showed me this. Now, that's pretty much it. That's what you got to do. You want to label it, right? So I'm going to label it. Two ways I can label it. What's this arrow represent? Well, it represents the y value when plug in x, right? It's the y value of this function for x. Okay. understand that. Okay? I'm seeing some glimmers of understanding. I'm seeing some halfway blank looks with a little bit maybe. You know. So I am try to draw this out with some homework problems, okay? Try to make it really clear. And then what's this represent? Well this represents This, rep this y value corresponding to x plus h, that is, this represents f of x plus h. I'm going to label that f of x plus h. Okay? I'm going to take just a couple more minutes. We have a few delays. I apologize. I've got to go to get the work or something to go, but I won't keep you more than five minutes. Okay? And if you have to go, you know, you'll have the video. So, Big deal. Okay, this is f of x and this is f of x plus h. I can sketch, I can sketch a line segment from here to here. Okay. And this line segment would be the hypotenuse of what? What have we used a lot of that has a hypotenuse that has a great significant... Huh? It's a fundamental triangle. It's a fundamental triangle for these two points on the graph. Right? It's a fundamental triangle corresponding to the interval from x to x plus h. It's the hypotenuse of that fundamental triangle. Okay? I can complete the fundamental triangle. Okay? This is the fundamental triangle corresponds, of course, to this. Okay?
corresponds to the interval x, x plus h. Okay? Rises, change in y. Change in y, i.e. the change in the value of f of x. And if we know what f of x represents with units and stuff, now we know what the rise means in terms of the units, right? And if we know what the x values mean, we know what the run means maybe in terms of the units, so we know how to interpret the slope of this thing, okay? This is obviously now what we're leading toward, run. the change in x, which is, what is the change in x? From x to x plus h, how much did x change? Plus h. Huh? Plus h. By h. And by plus h. Right. Okay? change in y over change in x, which is the rate of change of y with respect to x. All those words are essential. I keep leaving out the word rate or the word change. So you have the rhythm but not the music, and the difference between a D and a B or an A is the music. Okay? The class as a whole is at least at the level of knowing the rhythm. So I just want to hear music, but hopefully next week, okay? But I'm looking forward to that, okay? And you can do it, you know, very little test or lower than this should be. Everybody's got ability to do at least a letter grade or two better, okay? So just do it. Um, okay, uh, this well, the expression is in here. That expression, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, is called the difference quotient. It's the beginning of wisdom in a calculus course. It's the foundation.